guys, welcome back. It is another fun day in my world as we rummage through the garbage and make it beautiful. But anyway, back on topic from that horrible, horrible intro. Uh, I'm back down in what is going to be the mine shaft. I haven't really done much work on it because, you know, Far Cry 3 came out and took my life away. Uh, but I ripped myself away from it because it was actually starting to annoy me. Most like every other game that I ever play, after a while it just gets to that point where it's just annoying to constantly die and just see the same scenery and have to run all over the world. It was fun for the first, like, 12 hours, and then it kind of got annoying, so I'm taking a break from it, and I decided what a perfect time that was. Uh, right now I'm just trying to figure out how I want the mine entrance to look. This is going to be... Uh, the main headquarters for the mine, like right at the beginning, obviously. So this is where all the ore is going to go and everything. But I'm trying to think of a good design for it. And this is also going to have a second floor, that's why it's so high up. But i got to figure out... So, let's see. So you don't like that. Oops. I really need to get new tools. Oh wait, what the... They fixed that, holy crap. What the hell did they fix that? That used to like be an always in the game type thing. Okay, so then I don't need the Oh, that's so annoying. So yeah, uh other than the uh this little thingy that I got going on here. Uh I'll talk about some Far Cry three. Bring up some uh beautiful moments in Far Cry three. So there was nudity, which I didn't really not expect. I mean, with a lot of games, nudity is kind of just the old new type of thing. Although a lot of people got mad about that. And, like, I'm not just talking about, like, oh, this stupid game has nudity. I mean, like, they were they were going hard on that. I, I don't see the big deal on nudity in games. I mean, it's in almost every game now. What's the big deal with nudity being a bad thing. Uh, I guess I can't really like give my own opinion on that because I guess for some reason or another the person who, or the people who don't like nudity in the game have their reasons. So obviously it's their own opinion. I just want to know why they're complaining so much like it's the end of the world type thing like uh i i just saw one guy say you know oh, i was really looking forward to this game but then uh they said nudity was going to be it and it completely turned me off of it uh no game should have nudity in it I'm thinking well then how do you play half the games out on the internet i mean the only games i can see him playing are like freaking uh little girl four-year-old web flash version games that don't have any nudity at all it's just, it's very complexing to me, um, but I'm sure they have their reasons, so I'm not going to, what am I doing? Just make it all. But enough about that. Uh, obviously there's drugs because it's a island full of drugs. That's the whole point. A uh, little bit of spoilers. Voss is one of the bosses on the island. He's a bad guy who kills your brother. Zzz. Brothers. Uh, but I totally love Voss. He is probably one of my favorite characters to date in that game. Uh, I actually kind of like this. Just needs light. Maybe some functions and everything. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, yeah, gotta make everything look symmetrical, or I'll blow my brains out. Now I need a way up. Should I have one way to the mine and one way up to this, or both ways to the mine and just have a ladder go up to it? Ah, uh, decisions, decisions. You know, that's probably what I'll do. I'll have a stairwell go up here. Yeah, I'll come up here, and I'll extend out here, and this will be a bigger... Yeah, okay. It's in my head. You won't see it, but I see it. I gotta get some more materials. Uh, in other news... Mojang, I believe, in the newest patch, has officially released fireworks. That, at first, I was like, well, there's, oops, 
There's a lot of things you gotta fix, Mojang. Why are you doing that? But then slowly they said you might need to craft stuff. So I'm wondering if you can craft customized uh, letters. Because if that's the case, I'm gonna have a nice special on New Year's Eve. Uh, and then they also have the redstone update coming at 1.5, which said would be in January. So I, I want to see what that looks like. That looks like it's going to be awesome. Ugh, I don't know if I'm going to have enough. Dang it, I'm going to have to smell. Oh, no, I'm not going to make it back up. Damn it. Well, it's a good thing I don't have any XP. Okay, so let's destroy this. Get rid of this. I really need tools. I should probably go make tools. But I'm too lazy. There we go. So, with the, with the new Feed the Beast uh, that's up right now, it's actually really fun. Oh. Sorry about that. Real professional. Oh, shoot. This goes to this. Oh, well. But yeah, uh, Feed the Beast is actually really fun. Um, I didn't think it was going to be as fun as Tech It at first, because it didn't have a lot of the stuff that Tech It does, but uh, I was dead wrong on that one. Feed the Beast has to be... One. Actually, it's probably a little bit funner than Tech It, though I'm still waiting for... Uh, the like uh, equivalent exchange to get in, and uh, apparently they were supposed to add Thuncraft, which was supposed to be added a while ago. Like they had the discussion back in I think October it was, but the more I look at it, when I was looking at the launcher, I saw five mods on it. Now one mod I know isn't theirs, but three mods are. So I'm wondering if it's just the reason it's taking them so long is because they have to update three entire mods. And I know how much of a pain in the ass it can be to get combat, uh, compatibility, including with IDs for blocks. Because everyone, it's just, imagine it like this. You make one, you make two mods, uh, both mods share the same ID. So for air, it's zero. For, what is it, uh, stone I think is three, grass is two, or grass is, grass is three, dirt's one. So let's go with dirt. Dirt's one. Uh, now imagine a torch, somebody changed the ID to 1-2. Your game would crash right there because there's two IDs. Oh, what am I doing? It's too far. Two IDs are coming up in the same, I guess, the same uh, session. And the game doesn't know what to do about that. So it's kind of freaking out in the part and just saying, you know, okay, crash, here's an error report. Now go fix it because you've stumped me. And that's the way... That's the way Minecraft works. So trying to fix all those error reports has to be a hassle. It has to be a huge hassle. Like a pain in the rear ass. Rear ass. Yeah, the rear ass. Not the front ass, the rear one. Oh my... Ah, I really, really want my fucking boots. I've been trying to get them, like, non-stop before I, uh, Far Cry 3 came out, and I... Got close to it. I actually got a helmet of respiration and aqua infinity. Now I'm gonna try to combine those two, and if I can, give me this stuff. If I can, I'm gonna have like one of the most OP fucking helmets ever. Although I don't think they allow you to, which is really gonna suck. But at least I got respiration, so I can start on the new project down in uh, down under the sea. Yeah, I went there. But uh, that's actually one of the projects I want to get started sooner than later because it seems like it's going to be a fun project for me. I, I've made underwater bases before, but I made it more on like a bucket server where I was admin and it was more for an event. I never actually legitly made one. And that this actually goes back to the equivalent exchange I was talking about for Feed the Beast. Uh, lately I've had my friends on with me. Uh, one of them is just a huge fan of Tech It, and he actually uh, he pretty much adores uh, that game that we were talking about, right? Feed the Beast. Jeez. Uh, but uh, 
he kind of brought up a good point that even though kill and exchange is easy and I still want it because there's some uh, items that are just really too much like you, it's just too much effort to put in to get them and you don't really get much reward for it uh, so I would use equivalent exchange for that but he also brought up a good point that without equivalent exchange you kind of get this satisfaction feeling because you were able to build something without having to just use equivalent exchange to get a lot of it and he's right on that fact because a lot of the items that I've built so far uh, made me feel good because I went out I mined them Ooh. Sorry about that. I keep getting something stuck in my throat. Uh, so I went out and mined them. And it's not like vanilla at all. I mean, you go out and you mine vanilla. It's one thing. It's like, yeah, okay, cool. But there's, I've played this game so much, it's kind of desensitized to me on the item making. I kind of remember how to make all the items. In Feed the Beast, there's so much stuff and it's so, so overwhelming that it's actually enjoyable. Because I don't know what I'm going to get out of this... Uh, it's like, I get, what do they call those things? Kindler surprises? You don't know what's going to be inside, guys. But yeah, it's, it's, like, it's a complete surprise, because then you figure out how you got to build it, then you work hard to get it, and then you actually build it. And that's probably one of the best parts of Minecraft on how it used to be when Survival first came out. And I'm not talking about the web phase. Well, the web-based version was iffy at most. It didn't really get any love at all. I kind of felt bad for it. But uh, finally Notch decided to pop out the this client, and that was probably the best thing that ever happened, because that's when SMP finally took off, or, yeah, you know, uh, SSP, and SMP came later. But yeah, that's Minecraft history for you. Uh, damn it, I don't want to destroy this stuff. So yeah, so I'm just going to finish this up real quick. Ah, oh, screw it, screw it, screw it. I'm going to finish this up real quick, and I'll be right back with you with the finished product. So yeah, any whistle. So finished up most of it, I guess, kind of, yeah. Let's just take that for food. Because I have no food. I need to go and make some more carrots and potatoes. And that pie of pumpkinness. yes. So I finished up the mine shaft kind of yeah I have no skin damn skin servers are down I missed me already but here it is it is fantastic looking I know <laughs> anyway here's the upstairs uh, I decided to make it go all the way around and each one has item frames on both sides so that you see like that so if I'm walking this way I see what everything is and of course if I'm walking this way I see what everything is and nothing's extruding on the outside except for torches, which I'm probably going to replace with glowstone lamps above each one. Uh, but, you know, yeah, that's, uh, that's how that's going. Yeah. So each one has two furnaces for smelting. And, well, each corner, of course, and one uh, workbench so that I don't have to, like, run to one spot every single time. And I did it in the circle, so everything just looks like it's going round and round. And I kind of like the way this uh, turned out. I At first I had a different design, but this design is actually pretty nice. So I'm going to keep it. But, of course, we can't go without an ender chest. Uh, 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 hmm. Hmm. And think this through good. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what? This is going to go here. And then this, go right next to it. Perfect. Actually, I can make the, oh, no, I can't. <laughs> then I'll have one space room. But these look really cool as, like, uh, side rails. See, so yeah, that's pretty much how it is right now. I got some dirt. Don't I got some rocks. Reminds me, I gotta put this in here. So I'm gonna need a lot of smooth stone to kind of... Go with the flow. I do need wood, actually. And let's do this rope. That is not sticks. Two, three, four. Put you there and you there. Full stack. There we go. Let's put you with your brethren. Uh, coal, I could always use just in case. 
Uh, that's all. Really, that's all the wood I have left. I'm gonna have to use all of this wood. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna have to use all this wood anyway. So anyway, let's go check out the mine shaft. Voila. So this is the original. This is gonna be the starter support beam. I went with the forest type wood because I love how dark it is. I love the dark wood. Uh, I couldn't really change the top to like match the wood or anything because uh, this is the floor. Like r I think right either right above it or this is the floor. Yeah, that's the floor. So that's why I couldn't really change that. So I just kind of had it morph into something else. So it goes from funky to bland to really, really bland. But uh, these are going to be the supports, I guess, for the mine. I'm trying to put some kind of aesthetic into it. I'll probably change it around to make it look more like a mine. But right now, I'm good with it. Uh, I've gone down each way. and I've started each one by putting it one in. Uh, I think it goes four of these. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. So it goes four of those, three in each one that could fit. Uh, and then it rounds a corner and it's going to go, I think, eight that way. And then it's going to turn and go eight that way and then eight this way because on the other side it's the same thing. Uh, it's four that way. So this way it's going to make a giant circle that way. And then it's going to cut through the middle making just a bunch of big squares into smaller squares. Uh, I really love this design, to be honest with you. Uh, it's probably going to be the most efficient way to get as much ore as possible, while also clearing out a huge space in the, at the exact same time. For instance, as you can see, I can't go this way because my stuff's back there. But if I go this way, and I go this way, it's going to be crisscrossing every single way until the point where there's just nothing left, and it's just an open area. Uh, that's actually something I wanted to do. That's not something that I'm being forced to do. Uh, in this mine shaft, I, I kind of want the entire thing to just be void. Uh, this is a great way to not only get a bunch of materials, however, whenever I need them, or if I just get bored and I want to go caving, or really it's not caving, I just need materials and I need to open this up. But later on, this will be transformed into something else uh, along the lines, and the mine shafts will be kind of moved down, and it'll just keep going until it gets bigger and bigger. And uh, it'll kind of almost resemble something like the one I showed on the multiplayer server a while back, if anyone remembers that. Yeah, it was huge. Anyway. Don't want to spend the entire time uh, of the episode here in this mine shaft because I kind of did that building it last time. So I showed you, and now I'm off to a brand new world. Oh, I don't know if I showed these. Look at those. Look at that. Protection three, feather falling four. That's awesome. That's like the best. And feather falling. At least. Ugh. Anyway. Uh, yeah. I'll be right back. Really? That is so awesome. Hmm. Ah, oh, but he'll despawn. Dang it. Uh, he's not even a villager either, so I can't keep him. Oh, no, wait. Villagers, when they change back, they lose the armor. Oh, well. It's really cool. I didn't know that mobs that have armor don't, like, burn up in the day. That's what we... Oh, shoot. I didn't even realize I was at 28 levels. Hmm. Probably should get to 30 and enchant something, because if I do not want to die and lose all those levels. I swear, creepers really know how to piss a man off. Rooting my perfect lands, doing its crazy-ass stuff. Weep. But yeah, get you. Come back here. Ah! Ah! Oh, is that an enchanted bow? Hello! Give me your bow. I want to see what you had on it. Did you give me my bow? You didn't give me a bow. You cheap ass. Mmm. Get back here. Get the. Get back here. Gotcha. Oh my god. It's like trying to hit a freaking fly. 
Mm, right now we have to get more of that stuff. Anyway, so I mapped out exactly where it's going to be. So it's going to be from ooh, there to here. And it's going to come into like an oval shape and probably end right about... I'm going to say this one. This way it leaves three or two. Two, one, two. I kind of want three layers though. Okay, so it's going to end there. So it's going to be, it's going to, the glass is going to meet this. This wall is going to be taken down all the way to the floor level and draining the water is going to be a huge pain in the ass. Okay, uh, biggest problem I have of all is tr trying to create the circle. That's going to be a problem. Hmm. If you couldn't tell, I'm not very good at circles. Not in Minecraft, at least. It's not really even a circle. It's like a sphere. And spheres are like ten times harder to create in Minecraft because you gotta like... Ugh. It's just too much for one man to think. Uh, I gotta figure out what I need. But first, let's get rid of this. And these. Okay. Let's get our glass, and then we'll see what we can do with that. As you can see, I'm, I'm prepared. I have more than enough glass, and if I don't, then there's something wrong. Because this is more than enough glass than anyone's ever going to need in the Minecraft world. Unless you're building a giant glass house, then you might need a little bit more. Okay, so let's see. Minecraft sphere. Okay, so judging off this picture, it's gonna be even worse than a pain in the ass. It's gonna be like two pains. Oh no, the skelly. Really, come on now. Get out of the water, you and that damn zombie. Okay. Okay, then. So I'll be right back. Okie dokie. Sorry about that. Uh, so I made a wall. Um, it's a beautiful wall. It's made of wet dirt and sand. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's made of wet dirt and sand. And I gotta say, with just doing that, that, that used up my entire gravel supply, which I don't think I'd ever get rid of. Wow, it looks awesome. It looks like a dam. <laughs> if this was only like a hundred blocks higher, I could probably make a sick dam. Which is something I actually wanted to do, but unfortunately Minecraft worlds don't have amazing, like, giant hills with mounts of water at the top that could flow down. Unless I make one. But that's insane. <laughs> right? But no, yeah, uh... So... Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this until I either get a lot of gravel to fill this all in, or I just start filling from the bottom with dirt, which could possibly be easier, because I have a lot of dirt. If I do it with dirt, then I can just use my efficiency four, or is it, no wait, do I have the fifth one? No, efficiency four, to just destroy the dirt and have a field day. A giant pit of dirt being able to destroy. Oh, that's going to be an issue. So yeah, uh, that's something I will have to think about. Dang. Well, let's see how... Uh, uh. Dang. I didn't think it was going to be this hard. I thought I had it all planned out in my head. So smart. Okay. Uh, 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 mm, mm. I wish I could bring the speed with me everywhere. Uh, I mean, I can, but only in the potions. And the potions don't do me very good, because I can't get speed 2 in a potion. Not yet, at least. Uh, swiftness. 
Let me put this glass away because I don't want to freaking lose it. I'm going to get my respiration helmet. Get a lot of dirt. Start filling stuff in. And then I will talk about some upcoming updates to Minecraft. And... Oh, I need that. And what's actually going to be happening in the future. So I'll be right back. Okay, so that took a lot longer than I wanted it to. So... Not gonna have much time to do much else in the episode because I am running out of very, 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 very much time. If that even made sense. So yeah, so I filled up this entire thing. Took me about uh, an hour and a half to do it all. I honestly thought it was gonna be a lot faster, but this is the real part I wanted to do. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be fun. Uh, it's just so satisfactory. Satisfactory. Satisfaction? Satisfaction. This is probably one of the best things that you can possibly do in Minecraft right now. If you just wanna get. After all that, I'm kinda glad I'm doing this. It graze the wall. So yeah, so I'm just going to probably finish this before next time where I will start building up the uh... What is that? What the hell is that? What the hell is that? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Next time I'll probably start on the underground dome, hopefully. If not, there'll be something else, but uh... It's probable that I'll start on the dome. Maybe. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, as always. And I guess I will see you next time when we build the dome, maybe. Might be. So, maybe. Oh boy, it's gonna take forever. See you guys next time. <laughs>